The final round of the 2023 WRC season brings the crews to Japan for a final flurry of excitement on the asphalt roads amongst the falling autumn leaves. Thierry Neuville and co-driver Martin Vidaga will be chasing a second win in a row and a repeat of their victory in Aichi 12 months ago. Another win could see them leapfrog Elvin Evans into second place in the final championship standings. And there's plenty to fight for behind them too. Oitanak could steal P3 from Newville on his farewell to M Sport. 12 months ago, he waved farewell to Hyundai. Now he has just one event remaining in Ford machinery before returning to the Korean manufacturer in 2024. Esapeka Lapi needs a strong result after four retirements in his last five events. Just one more point could see him jump over Sebastian Ogier into fifth place in the championship standings. But he's under threat from a man from Japan. Takamoto Katsuta finished on the podium at his home event in 2022, leading to emotional scenes with his family following the final stage. And it was particularly special, as his father was also competing, former national champion Norohiko Katsuta. Another good result for Katsuta could see him and co-driver Aaron Johnston steal sixth in the championship from Esapeka Lapi and boost his standing within the team after a season that has got gradually stronger but has still only seen one podium finish for the pair in Finland. Danny Sordo returns to action for the Hyundai team at Rally Japan and has shown that once again this season, even with a partial program, he can deliver results. The speedy Spaniard has produced pace and consistency, scoring podiums in both Portugal and Greece. But he's only driven once in the second half of the year, as the team have given the chance to development driver Teemu Sunanen to prove his worth alongside Thierry Neuville and Esapeka Lapi. Sordo's 2022 Rally Japan ended in a ball of fire. But even with limited mileage on the event, it's hard to bet against Danny delivering yet again for the team. Adrienne Formo is back in Rally 1 machinery, hot off the heels of winning the Rally 2 class at the Central European Rally last time out. After a season in WRC 2, Rallying across Europe and winning the British National Series, M Sport is giving him another shot at glory in the top tier. Formo has strong credentials on asphalt, and though this year's event will be his first visit to Japan, he'll be looking to impress enough to secure a full time drive for 2024. In WRC2, the newly crowned champion Andreas Mikkelsen goes up against Kayaten Kaitanovic and Nikolai Gryzin while Gregoire Munster switches back to the category, having spent the past two rounds driving a Puma Rally 1. Katanovic, along with Nikolai Gryzin, has his sights set on clinching the WRC2 Challenger title. Open to WRC2 registered drivers and co-drivers who have not previously won a title in a Rally 2 car at WRC level. Rising star Sami Pyri currently tops the leaderboard, but having already started the maximum number of rounds permitted, the Finn will not be present in Japan. Former F1 driver Heiki Kovalainen is back for another crack at the event after finishing 10th overall in 2022. He split his time between national championships in both Japan and his native Finland for the past 12 months and won his second successive all Japan title alongside co-driver Sai Kitagawa. So don't bet against him putting in another top performance on the roads he is familiar with. And the event will be spectacular for fans, with the opening ceremony and three super special stages being held in Toyota Stadium, featuring head-to-head -head battles between the world's best drivers, tackling a multi-level crossing and mini jumps in the 45,000 seat arena. Rally TV is the place where you can find all the action, interviews, insight and analysis. We will see you there. Edge four, right, sharp, middle, into.